Now coming to the binary solid solution system. Solid solution system means the solid that exists uh, that crystallizes from the melt will keep existing coexist throughout the reaction until there is it will coexist with the liquid until that entire liquid is converted to solid. Therefore, this is the liquidus and this is the solidus. The solid solution series we will uh, learn through the anorthite and Albert system. So, uh, this is the liquidus and this is the solidus. That means above this line everything is liquid and above the, uh, under this line everything is solid. This is solid and this is totally liquid. Therefore, uh, between this line it will be liquid plus solid. So, let us consider a melt X. We will now uh, learn how the crystallization, the equilibrium crystallization, how the equilibrium crystallization proceeds for the melt X. Now suppose at this line, uh, this melt, when it touches the liquidus here, the first solid forms. Because this is the solidus, where it will, uh, the first will uh, solid composition, for the first solid composition will be represented at this point, means on the solidus. Therefore, this at this point the liquid uh, will crystallize into solid of this composition. And therefore, now this solid will coexist with liquid around this uh, field and react with the liquid and keep reacting because the liquid is now less enriched in anorthite. It will move towards albite because anorthite has been crystallized. At this point, the first solid to crystallize will be anorthite. And anorthite is taken out from melt. The melt composition will keep being enriched in albite. So, the graph will move, the liquid will move along the graph towards albite. And at this point, suppose we consider this point will produce solid of this composition H2. Suppose this is L2, this is L1. And at this point, it will have L3 will produce S3. And at this point, this point, because this is this lies directly above the initial composition, the entire uh, melt, the entire melt will be converted into solid, and the reaction will stop. So, this system will give the final solid for equilibrium crystallization. The final solid composition will be equal to the initial melt. Therefore, the, how much initial melt, the ratio of anorthite and albite in the melt we took, that, that will be known to us after the solid has formed completely. So, uh, now we will see the melting, equilibrium melting. How we will uh, proceed with the melting? Here is the solid, final solid. This will uh, the temperature will rise and then we will have this solid producing melts here of this composition and then because the solid will produce uh, melts of this composition that means albite is getting taken out from the solid in more ratio therefore it will move towards anorthite therefore the solid will move towards anorthite and when the total solid is uh, molten completely to produce the exact initial composition then the uh, melting will stop and the total liquid will be converted into solid of initial composition <coughs> so fractional crystallization Fractional crystallization, how it will uh, proceed? Here we will have first solid S1, where S1 is taken out from the system. The system is totally enriched in albite, then it will move towards albite, and then S2 will come out, S3 will come out. Up to this point, the total individual solids will come out. So, what is the uh, solid solution series from anorthite to albite? Anorthite, bitonite. Labradorite and this in 
oligocles and albert so this is the total series so first we will get anorthite individually and this will produce anorthosite bytonite labradorite actually anorthosite is mostly composed of labradorite then we will get andesite then we will get oligocles and albite uh, in the final will be uh, what will be the final solid but in nature this doesn't happen practically because we cannot get complete so fractional crystallization or complete equilibrium crystallization therefore what happens first when the anorthite has crystallized the anorthite crystal now it will coexist with the liquid and react and this part the above the upper part at lower temperature the boundary part this is anorthite and this will become bytonite <coughs> bytonite and uh, when the temperature is more lowered this part will become labradorite this part will now become andesite and thus the outer part will be albite and uh, therefore this is called zoning this is called zoning when different type of crystals are formed around another crystal due to reaction so this is known as uh, solid solution binary solid solution series for the fractional melting also we will have fractional melting also we will have similar kind kind of thing here we will have first the melt l3 will be produced and it will come out then it will go in a continuous manner we will keep uh, melting and it will keep coming out not like the eutectic or not like the peritectic system that finally it will melt here because there is no pure phosphorite in the solid till we reach here 